Kamakhya. So let's start with this mantra. Kamakhya Varde Devi Neel Parvat Vasini Tva Devi Jagat Mata Yoni Mudre Namastute Kamakhya Kam Rupe Kameshwari Hari Priye Kamana Devi Nitya Kameshwari Namastute Now in this mantra, Goddess Kamakhya is being described as that she is the one who has given birth to everyone in the universe. So she is the Jagat Mata, Jagat Janani, the one through which the origin of everything in the universe took place. And she is also one of the goddesses who is responsible to complete all your desires. The things that you desire, she is the one to accomplish all of them. Okay? Now, today we are talking about Goddess Kamakhya. Kamakhya Devi. Kamakhya Devi, the giver of blessings, the goddess who dwells in the blue mountains. And which mountain we are talking about? This is the Nilachal Parvat in Guwahati. This is one of the strongest Shakti Peets, especially the Tantric Shakti Peets around the world. And why we say this is because every particular tantric or the tantra sadhaks without visiting Kamakhya Shakti Peet, their tantric vidya or sadhanas can never be completed. This is the level of importance and the significance of Devi Kamakhya. And yes, Kamakhya Temple, like I said, is situated in Guwahati in the Nilachal Parvat. And you know, this mountain has its own story, has its own uh, beauty and importance. Lord Shiva, Brahmaji and Vishnuji, all three of them are also residing in this mountain. People are not aware of this that much. And then on top of them, above them, Devi Kamakhya is sitting. So we are trying to say and we are trying to concentrate on this fact that she is the origin, she has the origin of everything, even the Tridev for that matter. So now imagine the kind of power and the kind of Shakti she has within. Isn't it? Now, she is worshipped as a yoni in this temple, Kamakhya temple. She is worshipped as a yoni. There is no photograph, there is no idol of goddess. Here, it is the yoni of the goddess that is worshipped by all. It is underneath a cave. And I don't need to explain much about how the temple is because you will get many videos on how the temple and the, you know, the geographical uh, points about the temple. I am here to talk about Kamakhya literally means about the Devi Kamakhya means the, the goddess of desire and you know she is the goddess she is not only a vice and a source of wisdom and knowledge but she is also aware of her sexuality. She is also aware of each and every body function of hers. Okay? This is something that the goddess is really, really aware of. And this actually signifies that this is one of the temples where it is worshipped. She is worshipped in the sattvic forms. One of the sattvic, sattvic forms also. And it is very important for us to understand that whenever you are doing any tantra sadhana and if you are a sattvic follower, there are a lot of myths that you cannot worship Goddess Kamakhya in a sattvic way. The belly of the animals are needed, but that's so not true. Only by offering the coconut, you can really make her happy and she will accept it with a lot of happiness and uh, she will give you a lot of blessings. Okay. Another very important point that I wanted to cover on Goddess Kamakhya is also this that people go there for a lot of desires for having a child for prosperity for removing black magic uh, from them some negative energies from them but you know one thing 
that you really need to understand about this temple. This is one of the most strongest temples in the form of power and energy. What I'm trying to say is that if you have desired for something and um, you've taken a manak or you have asked for something from the goddess and if that gets completed, which of course it does every time, as per your karmic accounts and as per your nakshatras and all of the other things. And if you have told her and promised her that Ma, I will come back for offering you so and so whatever you must have, maybe a coconut or for taking your blessings and thanking you, having the gratitude towards you. And if you don't come back in that temple, you forget because you've got what you desired for, then it can really backfire on you. Yes, this is something that we have closely seen in practicality. Okay, so be very careful. It is not necessary that you say that every time you're coming back, it's okay. But if you have promised the goddess from your conscious levels, each and every word of yours is heard there. Okay, she is in that life form in the temple. So be very careful as to what you're asking. Another important thing, if you think that you can ask for bad things out there, you can ask for death of your enemy, you can ask for doing some black magic on someone and you know, so that something gets spoilt for that person or for that family, you will be spoiling your own karmas. That is a place of positivity. That is a place where you should ask for your own betterment. And of course, if you have enemies and of course, if you have someone who is really after your life in a negative way, you can always ask for protection from all your enemies, from the goddess, rather than asking for anything evil for that individual. Remember this, because this Shakti Peet will not leave you if you are asking something really bad and worse for someone this will actually backfire on you and all these things that I'm telling you you will not get this on YouTube because I am not here to take the views from all of you that is not my concern my concern is to give you the practical knowledge of each and everything that we speak here okay moving forward there are a few things that I would like to add on you know it is very strange and it is very uh, I would say very weird that, that you know whenever we are doing a Shakti Upasana whenever you, we are um, doing the worshipping of the goddess in the temples we are very good at that we will offer everything nice, the thalis, the bhogs, everything to the goddess in the temples. But we always forget that when it comes to respecting women in the society, in our practical world, we are the worst people around. In the Kalyuk times, I don't have to explain to anyone in the audience as to what all is happening with the women around. Of course, there are some bad women also with bad characters, with bad thought processes. That is with every human being, good and bad. People exist everywhere. But here I'm talking about the integrity of a woman. I'm talking about the respect form of a woman. When men go there, and I'm not trying to bash the men out here. Not all men are bad. Let me clarify this, okay? But there are few men who would go to the temples, really worship the goddess and, uh, you know, really, uh, you know, even take their blessings and all of that that I just mentioned. But when it comes to the real life, real life of taking care of their wives, uh, taking care of their children, the females, the girls around them in the family, they are the worst human beings. And if you think that you can only be a nice man in the temple in front of the goddess and come back home and be the worst man among the women in your family, then let me tell you whatever pujas or whatever worships that you have done in the temple is, is equal to zero, a big zero. It will never be 
granted to you no blessings will be granted to you that is for sure and when you talk about prosperity we are talking about goddess kamakhya here we are talking about the attraction levels to be enhanced when you are actually doing a devi sadhana of kamakhya ma okay automatically your shukra planet your venus planet will be enhanced when you are actually doing your upasana of kamakhya devi this is one of the small things venus again responsible for the luxuries the wealth beauty attractions of your life the opposite gender attractions you will be spoiling this completely if you are not respecting the women and especially your wife if you're married you are not being good with her you are you know spreading rumors about her or for that matter uh, you are just not a good husband to her you are not understanding her emotionally her feminine aspect your shukra can never be good and that will affect your business your work even your attraction levels even your looks and even your aura system so please be very sure if you are actually worshiping goddess kamakhya or any form of goddess for that matter be realistic be realistic respect the goddess in the temple respect the women in your life as well this is a very important message that i would want that should go towards the audience okay the rest of course the tantrics the tan the tantra sadhaks they are aware of the abhubachi mela which happens every year in the month of june and all the good tantrics and brilliant tantrics come and visit the temple and there is nothing that is hidden regarding the black magic removals uh, that take place around the temple and people who come for negativity removal out there in the temple all this is given on youtube but today this was a special message this was something that i wanted to share with you that whatever desire you going for remember this is the strongest shakti peets of tantra so respect it honor it don't go for just blogging just don't go there for clicking pictures this is not a place for you to be a tourist this is a place of japas and tapas this is a place where it's a very serious sadhana in a very serious way of worship if you go with that conscious level with that thought process you will gain a lot of positive energy from there but if you only go there for tourism aspect it is not correct there are many areas that you can go and visit and have fun around in your life but these shakti peets are to be taken maturely and taken spiritually very seriously okay i think that is all i i don't need to mention about the kamakhya sindoor and the kamakhya cloth all that is available on youtube and if you want in some other you know time i would mention about the details of other things of uh, goddess kamakhya's temple also in detail something new about those things not the monotonous things which are just going on on social media okay so that's about it i'll see you very soon with another important topic till then jai ma kali jai krishna kali ma jai ma kamakhya